So guys, I want us to take a look at uh, this video. Uh, our colleague here, he lost about, uh, uh, in 30 minutes time, he lost all these chickens that we'll see on this video. He lost these chickens just in 30 minutes time. Just imagine. And uh, any poultry farmer out there would be like, what could be killing the chickens? Uh, because of, I know like there's some poultry farmers who get surprised like why are my birds dying without having any good reason and if they look at the chickens they look very healthy so I want us to uh, I want to help somebody out there because a lot of you will go through this same situation and you won't understand why are your chickens dying so I just want you to take a look so let's go and look at uh, the way his poultry looks like uh, we can see he's got even the footpath there uh, for power security and if you look at here if you look on this porch we can see like to say oh okay these beds even the beddings here they are very dry but if you look at the chickens here most of them are crowded where water is so this uh, should tell us something uh, because if we look at the chickens they look very healthy I'm sure even uh, our colleague is even surprised to say, why are my chickens dying? And uh, if I look at them, I'm providing the good environment. And if we look at the ventilation, take a look, guys. The ventilation looks very, very much okay, which is recommended. The room is open all over. So what do you think could be the cause of the problem? So looking at uh, the way the chickens are crowded in here, we look at uh, how, where exactly are they crowded? especially so they are crowded especially where there's what if you look at here so what usually causes uh deaths like this it's mostly heat stress heat stress in these uh beds so there's a way you can prevent your beds from dying uh with heat stress you know they get a uh, heart stroke then they start dying without you noticing so there's a way I can give you a hint on how you can help your beds not to be dying the way they are dying like this. So let me give you the hint so that you might prevent your chickens from dying like the way they are dying without you even having a proper uh, reasoning why they are dying. So most of the time, like I've mentioned, it's heat stress. So let me just go through how you can prevent this from happening to your chickens. So this October, you will have to understand that heat stress kills our chickens. So I'll give you just a good hint that will help you to survive uh, with this heat. I mean, like help you prevent your chickens from dying. So what we usually do when chickens are dying without us having a proper lesion, especially in October, what will help you is during uh, afternoon times, Remove your feeders uh, in your porch so that your chickens are, don't have to eat. Because when they are eating, again, they will have a heat stroke because during digestion, they use a lot of heat. So you have to remove the, the feeders and only leave the drinkers in there. And please give them at least uh, a good number of drinkers. In the afternoon, don't give them feed. Give them at least in the evening's time when it's a little bit uh warm cold not uh that warm so if you do this you your beds will no longer be dying because they won't be eating at that particular time that will help your beds from dying so do that and your beds will stop dying just follow what i've told you and it will help you just do it your beds will be safe they won't be dying as a poultry farmer, you have to understand that uh, when your beds are stressed, the immune system becomes weak. So the moment the beds are having uh, uh, heat stress, the immune system becomes weak and even some other diseases are easily catching up with them. So this is the reason why you don't have to give them uh, feed so that at least they can be losing some, uh, some heat the moment they are lasting. And, uh, at that, at that point, at least the immune system will be stable and will be able to work accurately. So, as I've said and I've mentioned, remove the feeders and that will be helpful to your chickens. So guys, make sure you do that and thank you for watching and uh, thank you that you've learned something. And uh, if it has become uh, so helpful to you, please 
even share it to other poultry farmers so that at least they won't be losing chickens like the way our colleague is losing chickens so guys uh share and please if it helps you in your uh, poultry uh, uh, field at least give me a thumbs up come back to this video and give me a comment if it has helped you and i'll be so grateful and it will be at least it will be shared also to other poultry farmers so thank you guys for watching and thank you uh, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.